Ladies and gentlemen, in this RedGamerTech.com video, I will be taking a look at 007 Legends, available on Steam for $29.49, a slightly odd price to say the least, and developed by Eurocom and published by Activision. So without further ado, let's just jump in. Right, first thing of course we're going to do is take a look at the options, or that thereof. First things first, mouse support. Oh, apparently not. Never mind then. It's not like PC gamers are ever using mouse or anything in their games, so we're okay for that, right? Right? Oh. Anywho, video options. So, yeah, there's a lot of options, so it'll take you guys a while to figure them out. I'll go out and, uh, I'll be here for a while if I have to explain all of those. <clears throat> Audio options have about the same amount as the video options, which is never a good sign, really, in a game. However, I will say that the graphics in the background don't look too terrible. So that's a plus side. Uh, look sensitivity, I'm going to shoot that up a couple of splidge, whatever the hell splidge is. Just because I feel that, well, it's going to be a bit too slow otherwise. Alright, let's go with single player. It's a Bond experience, is what I'm exper expecting, experiencing, expecting. Now let's go for the campaign, a new campaign. Is this going to be the new GoldenEye? Modern and classic. I feel it's got to be classic. In before I die horribly. Let's go operative. And let's go for it. I'm ahead of the train, Mum. What are my orders? Eliminate Patrice. Oh dear. Oh dearie, dearie, dearie. I'm in position, Mum. Lining up a shot. Give that bitch a shot. Bitches love being shot. Do you have the shot? Negative. I do not have a clear shot. <laughs> They're heading towards another tunnel. Take the bloody shot. Now. Well, that was an amazing shot. Well done, you. No, Mr. Bond, I expect you to suffer from more aliasing than, well, let's just, let's just be honest, it couldn't get much more aliased if it tried. Hello, textures. I'm unsure on some of the textures, textures, in quotation marks, if they just simply used alt backspace in paint. Alright. To be fair, at least some of the geometry is reasonable. Use WAS to look around. Can we jump? No. Use mouse to... Okay. It's actually incredibly sensitive. I don't even want to know how sensitive that... Oh, this. So I have to find out how sensitive that would be at 100. Wow. Alright. If you move the mouse, like... Just, I don't know, maybe a quarter of an inch, you've spun 360. Now, I know that some of you guys really like sensitive uh, controls. And I do as well, but let me assure you, that's too sensitive. I see now why they want... No, oh, okay, that's that, that's actually not even good either. Right, let's see. Why they did not allow mouse control in the menu is beyond me. I, I honestly don't understand that. It, it, it It's astounding to me. Oh, hi there. Press E to answer them. Press... Hold E, okay. Bond here. Morning, 007. I need an update. Did you learn anything from Goldfinger's assistant? The girl is dead. What? He must have gotten wind of our investigation. The Treasurer is convinced Goldfinger is behind the rising gold prices. I want you on the next flight to his headquarters in Switzerland. I'm on my way. I just immediately think of the Mythbusters episode. Do, do, do. No one cares. Right. <laughs> oh, dear. I want graphics. I want to play. 
arrest him and get out. Okay. Stay undercover. It's kind of cool actually, you can see some of the old missions with like technology. Look, premise isn't a bad one or anything. That was a bit mean. Did you just use the EMP? Okay, now we're flying. Oh dear. To be fair, these explosions are reasonable. Have we any other weapons? I'm assuming the mouse wheel and any of the other keys work, by the way. Press mouse one to fire your weapon. Bitch, if you need to tell PC gamers that, they do not need to be called PC gamers. At least control is dark, although it's a, it's a toggle, which is somewhat irritating. But, you know, I can deal with that. Okay, so, zoom is, well, pitchy. Okay, this man's just iron manning it. So, lock onto the man, there we go. Right, you know what, let's actually play a bit properly. Right, let's get some cover. Ow. I mean, enemies aren't even doing that much damage to me. I'll leave tons of ammo. Alright, do we have any weapons? We can pick up. Oh, we do. I love how it gives me the weapon with basically nothing left in that. There we go. Right, so, so far, let's have a look at the ground textures. They don't look that bad. They look reasonable, actually. You can see areas around here, for example, look okay. Um, explosions look reasonable. So, overall, it doesn't look terrible, terrible. Let's have a look at the models. The models, they look a bit bad. So, the graphics at the moment, a bit of a mixed bag. We have a few weapons that we can select from. I'm going to keep with this, I think. Uh, yeah, right, let's keep with this and we'll go through here, I suppose. Old E to open. Oh, well, he didn't do too well, did he? Yeah, there we go, some suits, some armor. That's a good thing. Okay, this is a better weapon for zooming. Okay, that makes sense. Well, I don't think they're well. Yeah, I was kind of hoping you could lean over. No, it doesn't look like it. Reload. Fire. Bond is immune to, apparently. Must be wearing flame of hardened underpants. At the moment, I'm not sure how I feel about the crosshair. It feels a little bit off as I'm shooting. I don't know if that's just my imagination. Right. Also, for some reason, the look is a bit odd as well. I'm just curious if you can shoot these out. No. I'd like to try stuff like that while I'm playing. Right. We have another dude shooting at me from some distant location. Don't be silly, you don't need to stay alert, you just need to get shot if you say, oh god, that looks bad. That looks really bad. That just looks really bad, I'm sorry, that just looks terrible. Get up the... there we go. Ah, oh, AK-47, eh? I don't mind. Give that a shot. I 
this is reasonable. Right, we've got a weapon that doesn't actually suck now. Okay, let's hold A, pick up. Anything else? No, okay, cool. The fire actually doesn't look too bad, to be honest. I've seen a lot worse. Okay. Soon we have to shoot some more. There we go. Pacing of that was a bit slow, I have to say. Hold that. To be fair, I haven't gone anywhere. Okay, so if you're actually using a reasonable weapon, it's not so bad. I wonder if they'll actually come up at me, I'm curious. Come, at, at, come up at me, bro. That's what I say. No, well, thanks for the advice. really weird. I'm almost positive there is mouse acceleration because sometimes mentally I'm, I definitely seem to be overshooting. Hmm. That's extremely annoying. Accuracy is just all over the shop on this game. And it's definitely not me or my mouse setup. I'm playing other FPS games. So I'm having huge issues with accuracy. Maybe it's just me or my setup. However, it feels like it's mouse acceleration and it's bad, really bad. Okay, so far, so bad. Pretty sure there's another one over there, if I remember correctly. I missed him. No, apparently I did kill him. Alright, any other weapons? Any other weapons? Any more for any more? Any more for any more? Uh, what are you got on you? Apparently I can't pick that up for some reason or another. Oh, there's another one. I thought there was. Alright, there you go. Can I pick that up? Alright, it's not like as good as the AK, but hey. Ah, oh, sniper rifle. All right. Uh, why? Okay. Equip attachments. All right. You can't even use the mouse on this. That's basically what it comes down to. Um, how you're supposed to do this? Those right. up and down. Okay. So you can select different weapons like that. And delete, upgrade shot. Wow, I don't have a clue why they would go with this weird ass system. Thermal scope, let's go with thermal scope. And let's go with silencer. Actually, I don't have quite enough points for that. Uh, let's see. Go with something on this side, mate. Ooh, full auto could just be terrible. That will do. Right, box to it. I just escape. Okay. Okay. I apparently just have to really finicky with the whole use thing. There we go. That's good, unfortunately. Alright, 
it's probably a silly idea to vault it, but it's really annoying with the. I'm just trying to figure out about the mouse acceleration. It's quite bad, actually. I'm trying to mentally get used to it. But I find myself overshooting where I want to go. And it's kind of annoying, to be honest. Alright. Ow, ow, ow. I don't want to vault. Okay, we're going to tell them that's not good. Right, we've got another weapon. How many of these dudes are like, seriously? Alright, you know what? Let me just quick go back to Zong's way. Can we go from here? Can we look? Can we look at it? Oh, we can. How do you actually enable these items? Delete upgrade shop. I have absolutely no idea how you equip any of it. I'm assuming it must be equipped automatically. Ah, oh, who cares? Right. It's not like trying at this point. Alright, let's pick this up. I'll pick up that as well. Yeah, I'll pick up that. Actually, I'm going to keep it at 8k. Right, how do we switch weapons? That's the question. I don't believe I'm actually having to ask that in a game. Oh, we have to actually click in the mouse wheel. You can't scroll. I wonder if there's an actual key for that, let's see. And foot controls. Uh... No, you can only switch weapon one way, and that would be by clicking in the mouse wheel. So if you want to go from this, to that in one go tough shit basically is what it comes down to that's that's just terrible all right anyway i wonder if you could blow that up just out of curiosity oh that's pretty cool right. also for some reason when you're running let's test that again yeah when you when you stop running he stops reloading at certain points that's Silly. All right. Hacking is super simple. Oh, B to access the smartphone. Uh, mouse free. Bond. Match the modulating frequencies displayed on your smartphone. Do you into the device. T I was reading that. So there's another one, but I don't actually have a clue what the hell it was. Matching the modulating. Uh, it's not... T does that. Right, there we go. Right, well, screw it, that'll do. Press E to use. There's an error, it's lasering everything inside. It's cost him a bit of money as well while I'm at it. He's rich, he can afford it. And that one as well. Why? Because, well, why the hell not? Oh dear, we've got some friends. Where are they? That's the question. Alright, you know what? Let's go the traditional way. Okay, we've got reload. He's dead, that's good. The running thing is kind of irritating, which say it's the least. Oh, 
Right, we've got to go all the way over here. When your enemies are preoccupied or unaware of your presence, you can pass them by using stealth techniques. Oh, good. Let's view it. I better have. White marker indicates that the enemy is becoming aware of your presence. A yellow marker indicates the enemy is becoming suspicious. If an enemy notices something suspicious, they will move to investigate it. Well done. A red marker indicates that the enemy has found you. Enemies will react to any noises you make. Remain as quiet as you can to avoid attracting attention. See, when your enemies are preoccupied, I would have thought being shot at would have also indicated you can pass that. Them by using stealth techniques. Remain out of sight by using cover or shadows. The sad thing is the animation on this is Use about as good as it is in game. Engaging the enemy to maintain your cover. Use shadows to your advantage. It will take longer for an enemy to identify you when you're in shadow. Oh god, make it stop. For a more direct approach, engage your enemies in direct combat. I can't skip sure this. That's the sad thing. I'm trying. Loud gunfire and explosions will alert the enemy. And reinforce I should have skipped it. I honestly should have skipped it. How is there not an option to get out of this? Bond, the bodies of eliminated or subdued enemies will remain wherever they fall. They can be seen by other enemies. You can't pull them, if though. An enemy will become suspicious if they see a body. They will investigate, <laughs> and when they get close, the body will set off an alarm. The enemy will get suspicious if it sees a dead body. Well done. When eliminating or subduing an enemy, try to do it in a location where the body won't be noticed. Who designed this game? What why what 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 why can't you drag dead bodies? Oh dear. Why bother to put in a stealth element if you can't even drag the bloody dead body? Seriously, what the hell is the point? There's a motion tracking radar built into your wristwatch. Use it to identify the location of your enemies. You know what? I have a better idea. Let's go Rambo Bond. Right, let's just get some cover and we're going to have a shootout before I end this video. I want some entertainment from this damn game, and it's going to be bloody mine in a minute. Okay, I get shot at from various locations, actually. Ah, awesome. Thanks for sniper, bitch. Dance, baby, dance. So, yeah. That's what I feel about the stealth of this game. Fuck the stealth of this game. Right. There's V, X is a smartphone, mouse free, mouse free. There we go. And each has to take the photographs. I've got the evidence. Also, watch for additional photographic evidence. V. V. Transmitting now. We've received your transmission, 007. While we analyze the data, you should check the area for more evidence. Screw the evidence. Why A and D? I have no idea. That was just Bond, bad. Your is detecting biotoxic gas. We've upgraded the phone's operating system with a biometric filter. Use this function to analyze and track the gas. <laughs> Bond, be 
careful. That's deadly nerve gas. Any ah. exposure will kill you. Okay, so I shouldn't do say this. No. Apparently, shooting the canisters does a very little. So I hadn't thought of that, had they? I hadn't thought someone's actually going to shoot these, aren't they? I have very little health, and I frankly don't care. Ling, I need the final loading weights on the canisters. I've told you before, I don't work for you. I work for Goldfinger. If you've got a problem, bring it up with him. You've got 30 minutes. On to MI6. I think there's more to Goldfinger's operation than we thought. I'm going to investigate. Hmm. But M said. Negative bond. I will not allow you to jeopardize this investigation by being he reckless. Do I make myself clear? Perfectly. I won't be reckless. Give that bitch reckless. I feel that's a good place to call the video. Because frankly, I don't want to play this anymore. Um. Alright, here's my closing thoughts. This is one of the absolute worst PC conversions I've ever played. It's it's bad, is what it comes down to. It's just bad. I don't have a clue what the hell they were thinking with the no mouse support on the menus. It it just it it, it, it just baffles me. There are no there are no words other than it just confuses me while I did that. The lack of graphical options I can somewhat understand because let's face it, the graphical options don't really need to be toned down with this. Unless you have a Spectrum or something, you're probably going to be able to run this just dandy. The controls. It's not so much that the controls are all over the shop. It's the fact that, for example, when I was trying to hack, they were on screen for three seconds of how to actually do this. That's just silly. I got to read like the first two keys and then the rest is like, you know, well, guess. The actual gameplay has issues, like for example, why can you not hide dead bodies when it's telling me about stealth? So I can shoot a dead man, a man dead should I say, and he's going to be on the floor, but I can't do anything about it, but his presence will alert guards, so I can't move him anywhere, so what's the point? You know, Riddick, Ma Metal Gear Solid, all of these games, you know, Siphon Filter, they all allow you to move the dead bodies. This dude, no. It's only like supposed to be the, the most elite secret agent in the world in Her Majesty's service, but he doesn't remember that he can actually move the dead bodies. Okie dokie, skip. Finally, I do like some aspects of the game. I like the music, or visits Bond. The premise, in other words, you know, revisiting some of Bond's memories in modern day, is quite cool. Even some of the explosions, that type of thing, looks reasonable, but it's just done that badly. I'm sorry, it's just, it's that simple. There's, there's issues. Oh, also, the mouse acceleration. I, 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 maybe it's just me. Maybe other people would be okay with it. But for me, personally, I couldn't aim for shit. Um, I just found my mouse going completely where I did not want it to go. And that's just, you know, that's not a good sign. Um, so there you have it. The game's not awful. In terms of story, it's pretty reasonable. It's got you know years to ex of experience to cash in on, literally. Um, it's just the graphics and the PC controls. Uh, sorry, well, most of the PC controls are just awful. So anyway, um, yeah, this one's a bit of a mixed bag. I I want to like it because it's Bond, and it's also kind of cool as well. You've even got two different modes to play through the campaign. That's really good. You've got the classic, where where you pick up your health and your armor. Or you've got the, you know, the regenerating health. I think it's a really nice touch. In fact, I wish more games would do that. I think it's a really good touch. In fact, it's the first game I've played personally anyway that allows you to do that. But it's just the rest of the issues that are the problem. So, anyway, um, there you have it. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. And I will hopefully see you guys around soon. Bye for now.